guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam Makachu again. Today I bring you a Van Halen lick that totally transformed my playing. And it's an ascending run from Spanish Fly. And what's great about this is it essentially unlocked the fretboard for one and told me a little load of different passages you can go down, taught me a really cool alternate picking sequence. And in this lick can be really chopped and changed around. It can be played in reverse, it can be played in a really long staggered sequence and repetitive sequences that sound dead impressive and you'll like it. Let's go. So we're in standard tuning. And essentially to take you the lick take you through the lick very quickly we have essentially this sequence. We're focusing on the picking hand here at this point. What we do is we hammer on the first three notes. Then alternate pick the rest. So you get that sequence down, and then we start to move it around into different scale shapes. So uh, the sequence I did it was this. And I'll take you through what that is really, really slowly. So. I understand that's a bit fast, but I'm trying to keep, keep in eye of time here. So, the sequence, when we start to build it up to speed, goes thusly. And once you've got that down, it, it totally not transforms my plane, because you've got the whole fretboard at your disposal. And you can move around into different keys, as I say, you could do it in G if you want to. You get the idea. And also, to take it a whole step further, you can, you can even play this in reverse. So, to keep him with the original lick in A, we, you can do it like this, where you pull off the first three notes and then alternate pick the rest. So basically you've got to practice practice this one as I say in this in one place until you get the sequence right and then speed it up and move it around. So what this lick has taught me that all of this stuff was possible. So and you can do whatever you like and to take it a whole step further you can even stagger it out and make it really really long if this makes sense almost Paul Gilbert arise it and let me show you what I mean I'm going to play it first and then break it down. So, it's the same sequence, but then you go back on yourself. It combines a bit of both. So... You can mix it around and match it with loads of stuff, so... You can even do the, as the descending shape in an ascending motion. There we go. <laughs> That's that whole lick essentially. Um, and, and what it can do for your playing. And it totally not transformed my mindset. You can do it all over the place and in different keys. But that's up to you to decide. 
Thank you very much.